For students who are not ready to go directly into medical school, UMHS offers an accelerated review program called ARP. More than a program, it's an opportunity where students who need a little bit more help to get into medical school can train themselves with actual UMHS faculty. Medical school is academically demanding and incredibly challenging. The accelerated review program is designed for students who have the drive to become successful physicians, but need additional academic and study skills support to ensure their success in medical school. I decided I wanted to quit my job, uh, finish my pre-med requisites, and applied. I was out of college for several years, so this was the perfect opportunity for me to get back into the routine. Right under the scapula is going to be the subscapularis, which I'll talk about tomorrow. Which is the ARP program not only prepares students for the rigors of medical school, it also provides them with the academic foundation they need to flourish. They will be able to take anatomy, have the anatomy lab experience, biochemistry, pathology, they'll have a great experience. In addition to that, we try to develop their study skills so that they can go on, do well, and achieve. In our view, the academic foundation you build in ARP will greatly improve your chances for completing and thriving in medical school. This is just one more reason why the attrition rate at UMHS is as low as 4%. Students successfully completing ARP are automatically accepted into the medical school. I'm truly blessed and grateful for all the opportunities UMHS has offered me. Um, joining the ARP program was the best decision I ever made. UMHS President Ross hosted a roundtable discussion with five students who have first-hand experience with ARP. Here's what they had to say. It was challenging because I did not have the study skills from beforehand when I got to ARP. I was lost. I was like, whoa, thank God for this program because I was not prepared. The hardest aspect is helping you get that study habits for, for medical school, you know. Um, that's the hardest challenge for most people here. It's not the lack of capacity. It's the fact a lot of people are unprepared for the amount of material and the way to, you know, challenge it. And ARP definitely helped me understand to what level I have to get to and how to prepare myself in that way. And the, also another aspect is that basically every class that they give you in ARP, you're going to see it in medical school. So in terms of the volume of material and the expectation of medical school, do you see a big difference between undergrad and, and med school? Oh yeah. It's, it's a huge difference. It's, it's a huge difference. Um, it's, it's a world of a difference because in undergrad it's just, it's like the pre-med courses that they, you know, believe will lay down the foundation mm -hmm. for med school. but here it's just, it's way more involved, it's way more detailed, it's way more information in a shorter amount of time. Like, they, they have to cover so much material week by week, so it's, it's definitely a um, complete polar opposite. So without that time management and learning skills set, mm -hmm. it would be difficult? Yes, that's an understatement. But <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they gave me uh, confidence, confidence in my... Uh, and, and what, I'm, what I'm about to be exposed um, to. The goal right now is to build your foundation, to make yeah. sure you're successful in medical school and that you're going to perform at a very high level. So tell me a little bit about how you think they did on that. Um, the, it's like they introduce you to all of the topics that you're going to be covering in medical school and it, they present it in a very organized manner. So you start from like you know, the very basics and kind of like a little bit of the review from undergrad basic sciences and then they just continue to build on that knowledge so that by the end of it you feel like you've kind of already had like this crash course introduction into like medical school, like a mini med school. And so I feel really prepared going into my first semester because now I already know these concepts, I already have had like this preparation, so it's kind of it gives you this reassurance, like, I can do this, and like, I've already performed well in these classes in ARP, so now I can do the same in the MD program, which is really reassuring. I felt completely prepared for medical school. I had no problem whatsoever after I got into it. It was a, it's a, a bit of a more of a load in medical school than just a bit more than ARP, but it just got me so prepared for it that I had no problem transitioning. How were the faculty? Great. It was like one of the things that I, uh, really surprised me, you know, um, seeing college professors, 
it's, you know, it's a professor and a student. It's this whole different area. But here in St. Kitts, it's such a, such a good family. Like, I was actually really, really surprised. I love all my professors. They're very pro-students, very pro-students. And you can uh, talk to them whenever. You can talk to them outside of class. They'll give you their numbers. You can even almost hang out with them if you want and become actually good friends with them. And they'll help you every step of the way. I really loved how the professors came to me, came to each and every student. They know your name. You're not just a number or anybody around. They know your name. They come to you. They worry about you. They, they say, hey, what's wrong here? Let's, let's help you do better. Let's help you become a better individual, a better professional, a better doctor. And the attention, the, the care, the professionalism, everything is excellent. They want you to have an interest in what you're learning, so they make it interesting, they make it applicable. Um, and so that for me was like what I really loved about the faculty here, besides them being really personable. Um, and then my favorite faculty member from ARP would probably be Dr. Last. Um, he like walks in class right away asking questions and so it kind of just gets you like in the in the zone in the mindset to like prepare for how he how he tests and what he expects you to know so um, that was really helpful for me so what do you think was the best part of the ARP program the best part of the ARP pr program I would say to me it was the information and how the professors presented the information the best part I think is just like just having an introduction to medical school, like having you come in with this group and everyone's kind of like nervous and not sure what to expect, but like you're able to um, just get acclimated to your environment and you're um, able to meet new people, the faculty are great. So like, I would just say like the overall um, environment of ARP, like everyone's very welcoming. It's like a community of like students and we kind of now have our group going into the med medical school that it makes it that much easier to transition. So that alone is like just a major benefit of doing the program. I felt pretty well prepared going to medical school. I wasn't scared at all. I already knew what the challenges I was going to face and I'm, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to take it. I owe it all to ARP and to all the professors and the faculty here. They've all given me the opportunity to be who I am today and who I will be becoming someday, hopefully a great doctor. So if you had a student somewhere, either United States or Puerto Rico, that just got accepted to ARP, what would you say to them? I would say take the opportunity. Don't think about it twice. Take it because I am 100% sure that it will help you get into medical school. It will prepare you. It will make you a better professional. It will make you a better individual. It will help you grow.